Let's quickly give a round of applause to somebody in the room who recently got a blue tick on Twitter. <gasps> who? It's you. Oh. <laughs> yes, Chimmy. Come Hola. to on Instagram. Nah, uh, uh, we don't do that. <laughs> What? Not on Instagram. On Instagram, they don't rate me. Whatever. Shocking. They'll be very angry when I'm off a bit. Uh Yeah, they will be. Furious. Here are the students currently attending what has been dubbed the sex school. Good morning, morning. I'm going to start with uh, just posing a kind of a theoretical question, right? You're, you've met some new friends or they're friends of friends. You're meeting people for the first time and they realise that it's you of sex education, right? What are the immediate freaking out questions you most often get when that occurs? <laughs> When's the new season coming out? Yeah. Um, are you smart? Oh my God, I hope you and Adam- Are you smart? Yeah, literally, I get, I, got, I get that a lot and I'm like- What do you get? I, are you smart? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm, I'm out in, this, <laughs> in the bottom set. <laughs> Every you know what I mean? I just flunk I it. can't do this maths in that. Wow. <laughs> No, I bet Shooty uh, must get quite a lot of dirty pig requests, like almost immediately, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should wash your hands, you dirty pig. I didn't do a poo. I was crying. Oh, that is that's that's a frequent one. <laughs> that's a frequent one. one. I don't, but I don't mind that one too too often. To be fair, and actually, to actually, I don't that. get. Eh? You need to copyright that. I didn't come up with the pig. I didn't come up with that phrase. Dirty pig. Dirty, dirty pig. I feel like every African mother came up with that. I need to pay. I need to pay permission to every single Rwandan mum, African, any African mum that's ever said that. I need to pay dividends. Do you get Do you get people, despite you not being Acer or Otis, do you get people kind of wanting to talk to you about their own sexual issues or successes? Are people just like really open straight away? It's rare people talk to me. No, I'm <laughs> Jimmy, don't say that. I was, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, no, no one, no one talks to me about like their sex lives, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, I'm okay with that. I don't know whether Asa does, or maybe mm. Jillian, but me, no, not us, no. And you, you must still get idiots going, yeah, so why is it like an American high school then? If it's in Wales, why is it like America? I and know, you, you yeah, would you get that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, occasionally, occasionally you do get that. I am your new head teacher. It seems that there are some students here who get a kick out of giving us a bad name. It changes today. So... Like moving into this third season, I'm fully aware you can't talk about all your storylines, but at the end of season two, both of you ha- have so much potential. What can you tease us about what to expect? Oh, go on, Janine. Um, I think for my character, you can expect her to feel very torn. Um, she becomes head girl. Um, and that is, yeah, it's a bit, ooh. Um, yeah, a lot, and lot. she's just trying to get respect from the other students, which is hard. Um, and then we see her relationship with, Jack. my computer's about to go off. Oops. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I, have been, I have been there twice recently. It's I was about, about to speak to, you ready for the name drop? I was about to speak to Ryan Reynolds and it goes, Ooh. And, my, and my face was like. <gasps> oh you know. mate. That and that's Ryan cool. Reynolds. And that's Ryan Reynolds. That's Instant sweat. Instant sweat. <laughs> Instant, oh, sure. yeah. Drenched. 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 Oh, mate. Uh, uh, we get through it. These are the problems we're doing uh, Zoom at home. We're winning. We're winning. We're um, at home. Yeah, no, Viv, Viv goes through a lot. Um, she has a new boyfriend. Who is it? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. You don't know. <laughs> <Watch the season. laughs> it's not Eric. I'll say that much. <laughs> In my opinion, Eric, Eric, Eric and Viv are get together by the end of season three. It's true. That's the cliffhanger we've all been waiting for. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> a lot of changes, a lot of growth. And Eric, yeah. you, your character's come back from Nigeria, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. Um, so this, that happens. Um, he goes to Nigeria for a wedding. Um, and I guess he, uh, away while he's out there, he 
kind of just learns. <laughs> You're looking at me like, how am I going to do this about the spoilers? Yeah, but I think when, when he's <laughs> it's a challenge. No, he he goes out to Nigeria, and I think he, he just kind of continues his journey of self acceptance. And at, at this point, he's really understanding or trying to understand or trying to learn anyway, like how to incorporate all the different elements and intersections that he sits within um, mm-hmm. in terms of his race and his religion and his culture and just what that means to be like a young gay black man walking through this world. Um, and it's interesting because obviously this season he's in a, he's now fully in an open official relationship with yep. Mr. Adam Groff. I think I'm ready to, you know, really. You were pushed on that, girl. And we see how their dynamic obviously has changed because they, it's, it's changed so much from season one. And it's because it, they, it has in the past been so dictated by Adam's growth. And now they're on a really like equal footing because they're in a relationship together. And so how do they make space for each other? How do they, how, how do they work? Mm. Um, is kind of like where Eric is at this year. And I think all of the characters are, you know, we're using a lot of floral imagery this year because I feel like they're all I saw the growing. Posters, yeah. They're all mm. blossoming. I feel like Eric and Viv blossom in their own ways. This I, was, I was walking through Manchester the other day and I saw a row of all of your faces on those floral posters. Oh. And sex education is like such an institution now that I just went, oh, it's my friend. And then I went, oh no, oh no, wait, no, that's a, that, that's a TV show. That's a TV show. That's everybody be cool. That's a TV show. Can we be friends? Eric, what are you doing under, oh, we're yeah, friends. Yeah, I was like, Eric. Friends. What are you talking about? We're friends. That's what yeah, thanks, man. we hope that the show is, though. We hope that it makes people feel less lonely and we hope that it makes people feel like we're their friends and that you turn it on and you're just watching your friends be messy, be hot messes. Yeah. Um, yeah, and hopefully it makes you messes. feel feel less guilty about being a hot mess in your own life because we all are. And so, just turn on the screen and watch a couple of other people do it as well. Absolutely, such truth. I totally agree. I mean, there's loads of fun if you just watch the bloopers of the first and second series, right? <laughs> and what I hadn't fully realised until I rewatched it the other day is how much you guys dance, like all the time, <laughs> constantly dancing. I think, Shuti, you do the most aggressive flossing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's like your hips had done something wrong to you and you were like, no. So my question is this, who is the most fun to get to laugh on screen, to get to corpse on camera? Who's the most fun to do that? Oh, who's the most fun to make corpse? When Gillian Anderson laughs, it is like the world is a rainbow. Hang on, wait, wait, I need the clitoris. <laughs> When Gillian Anderson looks at you, it's like the world is a rainbow. You're like, oh my God, all my problems are alleviated forever. <laughs> um, for me, Asa, I love making Asa laugh because he's actually quite, he's not serious, but he's, um, he's, a bit. he's just always quite in it mm-hmm. and, uh, and just very like focused. <laughs> so anytime you can anytime like and he's just got the funniest little laugh as well like the funniest little laugh dirty 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 pig sucking on those titties <laughs> connor is actually very Con- all connor does is laugh and i think you'd think it was the other way around like ah. connor Con- you can't get through a scene without connor pissing himself like he he corpses <laughs> all the time I don't think people would know that. Dreams are dreams. Dreams are dreams. Dreams are dreams, 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 dreams. Dreams. <laughs> dreams. Dreams. So what am I doing? Can we just go again? Yep. <laughs> I find it fun um, trying to make Kida laugh. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just funny. He has like the cutest little laugh. I'm like, lol. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to be doing like a really serious scene, um, like the bedroom scene, um, where he's um, and I'm like, oh, it's you're gonna be fine, and I'm making him corpse. I'm like, <laughs> it's not gonna be fine. <laughs> well, you did not try to make a corpse in that did you? Yeah, it was pants. <laughs> it's okay, but you can't keep on hurting yourself. Yeah. It's good. Intense emotional scene. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. 
<laughs> the time. You're going to laugh That's... today. You're going to laugh today, boy. <laughs> That's perfectly cruel. I absolutely love it. Another thing I only recently realized is that you guys sometimes use green screen. Like when you're in a car and there's a lizard. I think the lizard might be trying to have sex with my head. Or whatever. There's actual green screen going on. That That's kind of blows true. my mind. That's not true. It's all real. Oh, it's all real. Yeah. yeah. You've got to tell the behind the scenes footage then because... <laughs> that you see on our screens is real no yeah it's and we use a lot of green screen and can you imagine this year ali as well it was yeah we were shooting in a pandemic like we had to use green screen. Yeah. when i saw the nigeria stuff i was like okay this is you think that we're gonna you think that we're gonna film where we're staying in wales boy Wales, the producer every day would come up to me and be like, Yeah, so we're going to be filming in South Africa. I'd be like, huh? We're going to be filming where? <laughs> we're not. We ended up filming in Newport, Carolina, obviously. Yep. Got the green screen up. And uh, yeah, green screen gets used on sex ed a lot more than you would think. And obviously, because of like, you know, the Geneva Convention, you know, Asa can't have a real moustache um, because it's so offensive. Oh. That, that must have been CGI, right? All right, new kid. What is that on your face? It was offensive. It was offensive to my eyes. It was offensive <laughs> to my performance. It was a fa- it was offensive. It was an offensive moustache. Uh, no, just... that was real. That's real. That's it, real. It's a can't grow. Well, can he? I'm not saying Done. nothing. That's well, I heard from Grapevine that it was costume and makeup. It was a co- <laughs> yeah. No, it was a costume. It was a little sticky on thing because yeah, it's obviously not it's not his. No, because yeah, yeah. obviously you've got to. You've got to do I'm not scenes saying in the that morning. Can't grow hair. No, it's a continuity yeah, thing. He didn't. Yeah. Yeah. It was a continuity sure. thing. And he's a cool yeah, player. Yeah, cool. He's going to be like, you? You going to call you. What? Bro. I'm texting him now. I'm going to text him now. Well, and be like, okay. He's cussing you out. Oh. He's cussing Bring you it. out. Um, <laughs> let me leave you this one last thing in this ridiculous American, wherever it is, show. Surely you get to steal some of the varsity jackets. Like at the end of each season, surely you get given like I don't know the quiz team or something to take home. Or are they like no no no? This has got to go in a vault, sex education museum. You can't have any. Well, if it gets missing, it gets missing. It goes missing. Oh, it is what it is. But I don't. I don't take anything personally. No no no. no, no. no. Not me. Maybe a few scarves. Like by accident. Oh. <laughs> and by Take socks, I mean cars. <laughs> <laughs> so we think. Hey, right. By socks, I mean this entire camera that I'm going to sell on eBay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, I've not been. I've not been given no varsity jacket. There's been no. No, but sometimes, jacket. like at the end of filming, they send us some stuff. Um, mm-hmm. So, like, we got what? a bag, which is really cool. A bag. Oh, you didn't get Who it. Who got a bag? Who got oh. a bag? I didn't get a but what bag? What bag, Chinny? <laughs> what bag? <laughs> I didn't get a bag. This is did you? I got a bag. What is this going on? Radio one. Uh sex education. You <laughs> lot. Uh send me my bag right now. My bag right now. <laughs> this is favoritism. <laughs> Absolute shocking. Did you get a jacket in, in, though? What jacket? A hair. What jacket? I got a hair. <laughs> what jacket? <laughs> I've got a raincoat boy, and it's from Rains. <gasps> oh, you got that sponsorship there? Yeah? yeah, there are other jacket brands out there, but it, <laughs> and it says and it says M for Mordil on it. Oh, I don't, I didn't get that, bro. Guys, you've got your bag though, so it's fine. Uh, guys, have a great rest of your day. It's been a sincere Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. I love you both. Oh, Thank you, Ali. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.